Hello class, in today's video we will be exploring how to multiply and divide rational expressions. Once again, to keep in mind, rational expressions are nothing more than um, fractions with some form of variable, either monomial, binomial, or trinomial, or some form of a polynomial. Uh, if you look on the right, these are the process in which we're going to solve uh, a particular problem. Uh, for multiplying, there are two rules you might want to remember. Uh, the first is just basically you want to factor every, uh, every expression that's factorable uh, in your problem. And then the second is to reduce and cancel before you completely multiply the problem. All right? And when you're dividing, uh, once again, there's different rules, except here we've got one extra rule is this thing called keep, change, and flip. And we'll get to that when, we're going, when, we, solve, uh, when we solve the division uh, example that we're going to do. Now let's go ahead and get, get started. Uh, with this problem, okay, when you're multiplying fractions, all you have to do to multiply fractions is to multiply straight across. You multiply numerator times the numerator, and you're going to get equal to a uh, numerator for your answer. And denominator times denominator, and you're going to get denominator for your answer. But before you do all that, to make this problem a little bit easier, what you may want to do is you may want to factor everything that's factorable. So let's look at our numerator here. The numerator 21x plus 12 is factorable, and we can break that down using greatest common factor. So let's go ahead and do that. 21x and 12 both have uh, 3 in common, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Okay? And then what's left is, what's left is uh, 21x divided by 3 would be 7x, and 12 divided by 3 is going to be 4. So that's what's left. This this is what our numerator is broken down, all right? All divided by, and then of course the denominator, that's not factorable, so we're going to just rewrite that, all right? Now, the second expression does not have any, uh, any factorable uh, expressions on it, so we're going to leave that as is. We're just going to rewrite it, x minus 2, okay? Now at this point, we've done the factoring portion of our multiplication. And now we're going to reduce and cancel. So all we got to do is look to see uh, if there's anything in the denominator or in the numerator uh, that can be canceled. And there is. We've got a 7x plus 4 in the numerator, and we've got a 7x plus 4 in the denominator. All right, there's nothing else that can cancel between the numerator and the denominator on either side, so that'll be it. Now we're going to multiply uh, whatever we have left. 3 times 1, which is just 3, all over. Okay, in this case, this is 1 times x minus 2, which is just x minus 2. So this is our answer for our multiplication example. Now let's move on to the uh, div uh, division example for rational expressions. And like I said in the beginning, uh, when we're dividing, we have one extra step in, in front of all of these, which is to keep change and flip. That's a method that we use at our school. So, And once you've done the keep change and flip, the problem actually becomes a multiplication problem and at which point we factor whatever is factorable and then we reduce and cancel and then we multiply straight across as we did in multiplication. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's look at this problem right here. So let's go ahead and do this process called keep, change, and flip. And what that is is that basically we'll keep the first expression as is. All right? So it'll be x squared minus 9x minus 10 divided by x plus 1. Okay, and then we'll change the operator from division to multiplication. That's what changes. Okay, and then we'll flip whatever this expression is. So whatever the denominator is, it becomes a numerator and vice versa. So this becomes x minus 10 all over x plus 3. At which point, we've done a keep change flip. So now we're going to move on to the part where we're factoring. Uh, we're going to factor whatever we can factor uh, in the numerator or the denominator of our expressions. So the problem has become a multiplication problem, so we're down to these two steps here, just like we were multiplying here, okay? So let's go ahead and factor uh, what's factorable. If we look at this uh, numerator, it is factorable using what we know as a is equal to one factoring. And once again, that's a whole separate video on how to do all that. But what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and factor this. What we're looking for is two numbers. When we multiply them together, we'll get a negative 10. And when we add them together, we get a negative 9. So those two numbers are going to be 1 and 10. 
and this has to be negative, this has to be po positive. So when we multiply 1 times negative 10, we get negative 10, and when we add negative 10 plus 1, we get a negative 9. And of course, our variable is an x, and we just put that here. All right? The denominator is not factorable, so we're going to keep that as x plus 1. Times, this is not factorable, x minus 10. This is not factorable, so we keep that as is also x plus 3. All right? Now that we have that, okay, we're going to, we're basically going to do what we can, um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to reduce uh, and cancel whatever we can. And if we look at the numerator and denominator, we've got an x plus 1, and an x plus 1 we can cancel, right? Okay. So basically, there's, at that point, there's nothing else to cancel. There's nothing else to cancel between here and here, between here and here. So we basically have our answer. All right, so we're going to multiply x minus 10, x minus 10, which gives us x minus 10, x minus 10, all over, okay, x plus 3. All right, so this is our answer for this particular division problem. Now, sometimes your, uh, depends, uh, if you have a multiple choice question, this might be multiplied together, and you'll get uh, basically a trinomial uh, when you multiply these two together uh, over x plus 3. Sorry, I didn't write that in. All right? Thank you.